<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again here with another tutorial. Hope you guys are liking them so far. This one is Capture Tool Part 1. And for this one, um, yeah, you're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to learn how to uh, set your options for capturing and, you know, log and batch capture processes and, you know, just in general capturing some clips from time-coded sources and sources that have no time code at all. Okay? And if you haven't seen any of my tutorials so far, I highly recommend them. I'm going to be making quite a few here, and uh, they should be really helpful. And like I say in all my other videos, um, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user, as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't mean that I'm a certified instructor in either of those programs. Basically, I'm just doing this uh, for your guys' benefit because when I was uh, first learning Avid, I really wish there was some type of tutorial or lesson I could find online or something to help teach me how to use this program. It's really hard because there's usually only people uh, like professionals in the L.A. area or New York. And If you're from a spot that's far away from those places, good luck. So I hope I'm helping. Okay then, let's get started here. Now before we even get into the capture tool, it's really important to know the fundamentals of how clips and media work in Avid. So basically, whenever you capture something from a tape, it's stored on your computer as a media file. And uh, so you're not editing off the tapes that you put in your decks. You, you actually have to capture them and digitally uh, store them on your hard drive or an external hard drive that you have set up. And the clips in your bins are just pointers to those media files. 